Hello everybody, welcome back to Shadow Venture. It's sure been a while since I've posted a devlog, but I'm back now, and I have some news about the game. The main reason I haven't posted in so long is because of some major changes that I've made to it. And well, you've already seen the thumbnail, so yeah, I completely restarted my game. Not from scratch, in a sense. Basically, the version of Shadow Venture you've seen up to this point was built completely from scratch, written in Java. Now, this wouldn't be so bad if I knew how to code back when I got started, but I didn't. I was basically just following a tutorial on how to make a game in Java, but with me being a rookie programmer at the time, the core that I built the game on was an absolute mess. Not to mention that mastering some of the animation would have been extremely difficult in plain code. If you saw my devlog about the Spider Queen, you can kind of notice the janky animation. The point is, getting Shadow Venture to a good point of quality would have been an absolute nightmare at the state it was. So I started over, this time using the Godot game engine. I chose Godot because, for one, it's completely free and open source, and its UI is a lot simpler than most game engines, making it much easier to get into. So here it is, Shadow Adventure and Godot. In terms of the game's progress, I haven't gotten any crazy progress due to the time spent porting things over, but I have started progressing again. Currently, me and Carson are working on the opening sequence of the game, including the first level and the cutscene. With completely restarting the game, I've had the chance to give the player movement a fresh coat of paint. When controlling the player, you now have much more control over jump height, along with some small quality of life changes such as coyote time and a jump buffer. Another system in the game that's been reworked is augments. At this point, augments are more like unlockable moves that you will have instead of being toggleable. The water walking ability has also been moved to the ocean ability gem. Now besides the elephant in the room, you may have noticed something new about the thumbnail if you've been a viewer of the previous devlogs. That is, of course, the logo. If you have seen the old logo, then you can definitely agree that it desperately needed to be redone. I honestly had no idea what I was thinking when I made that thing. Anyway, that'll do it for this devlog. There were a few things I didn't cover in today's devlog, but they're not anything of major significance. Like always, leave a comment on the video giving any feedback you have on the game, and join the Discord to participate in the community and see some more previews of Shadow Adventure. I hope you are excited as I am for the game's launch, and with that, have a nice day!